Copy, Reed. V, finally. Blackwell's lockdown on comms has been lifted. And it's your location now. Saw me with you? She's here. She's alive. Good. Take care of her. I'll be there shortly. We'll save her yet. So me. yet. Just hold out a little longer. You know, that's not true. I see it on your face. So me. I'm... I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I... I tried on my own. Don't have the strength. Please. End it. So me. So me, we got the neural matrix. We we'll use it. Cure you, cure me. It's all good. We'll be all good. It's too late for me. Blackwall, it's taken almost all of me. Dying is my only hope, only way out. Please be. So me, I, I can't. That's not a solution. Is the only solution. I'm begging you, V. No, not a solution, Somi. Please, you don't understand. I. I can't kill you. No, I just won't. No, please. You're leaving me to a fate worse than... than death. Show me! You're all right. It'll be over soon. You'll get some rest. Help me. Haven't said a word the whole way. What's eating you? Don't know. I don't know, V. Wanna talk? You know, about what happened. We did good. Did the right thing. We'll get her help. But I can't... I can't help stop seeing the same scene. Like it's burned inside my dome. We're in a car, moving. Leaving Brooklyn. 
She refuses to turn, look back. No tears, no sobbing, just a statement. Seems like you saved my life. She doesn't believe it. I can hear she doesn't believe it. Would she say the same now? Wish I could say, Reed. But don't blame yourself. No guarantee, none at all, that there's a way out for us. We're in the same boat. Clock's ticking for both Song and me. Just hope the FIA's up to the task. Of course. Step out of the vehicle, please. Reed. Let's go. Out of the car. Now. Stand the fuck down. Can't you see she needs help? V, I need you to help her. I got it. Right here, sir. Easy does it. Area secured. All clear for landing. Don't worry, Somi. We'll help. This will be over soon. Take good care of her. V, the President will like a word. Good to see you, Madam President. Likewise. Congratulations. I see the operation was a success. V, you risked your life to help me, to help our nation. That merits recognition. Uh, didn't expect this. Thank you, V, for your aid. I won't forget this. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You will return to Night City. Take pride in what you've achieved here, V. What about the help you promised me? The medal is purely symbolic, of course. Your actual compensation will be more practical. Reed will fill you in on the details. When Somi's better, you'll send word. Not to worry. She'll recover. Okay, but you'll let me know, right? Let me talk to her. I'm afraid that will be impossible. National security demands all that has transpired here will be classified top secret. So long, Rosalind. Best of luck, V. Perhaps one day you'll be called on to serve again. We'll have our eye on you. You all right? We're all set to go. She asked me once if I, I'd always be by her side when she fucked up. I said I wouldn't miss it for the world. She didn't believe me. Just smiled. She shook her head. She wasn't buying it, I could tell. Then she dropped this bomb.
Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she says. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. I wonder now if she was right not to believe me. Or did I keep my promise? You know, Somi got the same medal. Just after her first FIA op. She gave it to a homeless man on 21st. The guy just pinned it to his jacket like it was nothing and asked for spare change. Damn it, V. Just damn. Reed, if Myers is lying, if she doesn't save, so me. Means we gave Song something worse than death. You think I don't know that? The FIA will save her. She'll be all right. Listen, I need a few days to put together what we promised you. I trust that's no problem. Sure, I can wait. A few days won't kill me. Medal and coin from Mai's. They're tokens of important memories, never of regrets. Could end up as souvenirs, or a warning. Only time will tell. since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible, think I've finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. Some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <sighs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. Can turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know. Dwelling on past mistakes. How do you mean? You try so hard to run away from them. You forget you're going around in a neat little circle, heading for a head-on. And fucking bam. Exactly. Now, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though. How's it feel, you know? with all that's gone down. Where I see it, I had to believe some version of the truth. Settled on reeds. Wrong. You settled on a version of a lie, V. Well, at least you got a medal. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. 
think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down, I feel for Reed. Because we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system, in its principles. Except the line between believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, pretty fucking thin. No, no comparison, Johnny. Reed was making up for his past, correcting his mistakes. Fought for a second chance, for himself and song. You? Guess I was never chasing ideals, not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gave up on your ideals, huh? Now? Finally? No. Just saw that behind everything we believe, there's an ugly truth we don't want to face. All right. Good talk. Get up. <sighs> Those thoughts, feelings... Didn't expect that from you, Johnny. Probably because you think you've got me all figured out. No, just, uh... Didn't realize that under that prick rocker boy exterior, you're nothing but a big old softie. Yeah. Fuck you, too. First met here. Same exact court. Different ball game. Can't deny that. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. So me a live. Good work. So what about so me? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but Somi will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. Gotta hope these alternate means of yours do the trick. We made her a promise. Told her she'd be okay. I said she'd get the best care available. A chance to make up for her mistakes, mend her ways. I can't do any more than that. Yeah, I know, you're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... he couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. Meaning what? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Langley or Glencoe's probably my next post. Desk job. To start, for a while. Plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. Promising operatives, you say? <laughs> I gotta admit, you're pretty good at reading people. I mostly have an eye for talent. I guess that'll have to do. Well, seems you might have finally found your place on Earth. You ought to find yours, too, before it's too late. Just not at any price. You know how that ends. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. 
I'm gonna hang back a little. Told I could count on your help with the behavioral circuit. Mm-hmm. I did receive instructions. My help has been paid for already. May I see the component? Perhaps I can do something with it. Okay. Waiting. Usually, I don't ask customers what they want to do with the tech they bring me. And I will also not ask this time. But... This comes from a place that should probably be buried under a fat layer of concrete. The algorithms that run this circuit... I have seen the like long, long ago. You should not let Netwatch catch you with this. I'm serious. V. In our fair district, are you? Hey, yeah. We should talk. Face to face. Nova, heavy hearts, here I come. And don't drag your feet. You won't be disappointed. My, my, aren't we confident today? Ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. It's cool. Not here for tea. What's a virgin? No ordinary job, to be sure. Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The Enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. The Shard, please insert it. Uh-huh. Why is it we care? I take the long view of Dogtown's well-being. You care for short-term profit. Should Dogtown drown in blood, Neither is achievable. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hanson's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. What's Bennett's story? Ex-Marine took part in Operation Midnight Storm. He never questioned orders, didn't serve for glory or medals. Loyal from start to finish. Yago not up to snuff? Why? He's an accountant, no soldier. Kept Hansen's books for him. V, you don't win hearts by counting numbers. Okay, I'll handle that. No, you won't, but Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana, a living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have his behavioral imprint on hand. You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. Merc assassin, huh? Color me curious. Anything else I ought to know? Real name, unknown. Body count, unknown. Conservative estimates put it in the dozens. Per continent. 
Rumors, perhaps. But rumors often make for crowning arguments in negotiation. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity... Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay, all's crystal. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon, the same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Mm-hmm. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Time to kick the tires, V. Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl. Do you feel the difference? My time's precious, hands. If this don't work, you'll need to find ten new digits or aim for a rebrand. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoos. Whoa! I'll forward the coordinates. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Don't worry, won't disappoint. That is the hope. Good luck. I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. Mwen fou tabeti you? Is it Yago you await? He's not coming. Havana has removed him from the picture. Catella? Is it la? Here, Jess. But I have no quarrel with you. What happens next is your choice. Jacob Feb. He pral rencontre sal merite yon jou. Asse. Pavoli. On alle. Gotta wait for the man. Out in the open? Ah. What a face-off to you. Aguilar, you saucy senor. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Something ain't right, boss. And you are... I answered with my own question. Do you know what happens when someone in Havana lights a cigar? Somewhere in the world, Aguilar takes a life. Hmm? So they say. Do you know what else they say? That you have angered the wrong people. We know of your plan to us, Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? <laughs> Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? I spoke with the Voodoos. They understood their lives are worth more. Now I speak with you and wonder about the value of yours. Aguilar, please. It's not what you think. May I explain, at least? Very well, but be quick. Bennett is an Arasaka pawn. They courted him until he cracked. Then they waited. They needed the Colonel to die. I don't know what they promised him, but I do know what they want. Control of Dogtown. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it. He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him. 
Press him. You'll see him, right? Please pass my gratitude along to your superiors. Let's go. Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or we could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. I five me. Ain't our guy that. Probably his hustle. Take him out now, just in case. Save yourself the headache later. Mm -hmm. I think we're on the same page. They agreed to back me. Two unmarked tactical units in Dogtown. Gordon, let's roll. But what a grind. Japanese suits have their neckties t Wait, who? Oh, fuck. Aguilar! So you know now how the Japanese tie their neckties. Do you know the Colombian way? The Colombians cut open your neck. Pull your tongue out through the hole. It sounds complicated, but I've had plenty of practice. Aguilar, please, listen to me. I know what this must look like. This fuckhead Yago. You're a candidate. Hmm. He's trying to cut me out. Arasaka's promised to have my back. All they want in exchange is access to our smuggling routes. No, what they seek is control of your smuggling routes. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm out to secure the future. For my organization. For your bosses. You will put Arasaka behind you, Bennett. Why? Because you are in a car with Havana. While Tokyo is somewhere out there. This a geography lesson? Fucking joke! Oh, Bennett. What little regard do you have for your own life? You won't let it go. Is that it? Well, fine. Your legend's hands here! Do you want the throne? It is mine to give, but to a soldier. Not a corporate puppet. If I see even one Arasaka shadow in Dogtown, I will return and find you. But without my friendly demeanor, is that clear? Yes, Aguilar. Understood. V, have you made progress? Has Yago reconsidered? Has indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Yep, met with Bennett too. Man's a sock puppet. Sock his hand up his ass. Don't worry, I pulled him off. Ironed him out. For good, I hope. Huh. It's not something I asked you to do. But I do appreciate it. Bennett is still superior to Yago as a candidate. What now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Le Roi et more. Vive Le Roi. Good luck, V. The final act. Hansen's wake. Enter Aguilar. Shit, V. Got me on the edge of my seat. Aguilar, welcome to the Black Sapphire. 
Hope you, uh, had a pleasant flight. Thank you for coming. Aguilar, in honor for all of us. <laughs> this is how you bid your leader farewell. Under the circumstance, I expected more pomp. Pomp? Well, <laughs> we did what we could. What felt right. Take me to Bennett. He came with extra security. Got a bad feeling. Havana sends its condolences. The news of Colonel Hansen's death shook us all. I'm sure the Colonel would appreciate your... goodwill. You're dismissed. I met earlier with the Lieutenant Colonel. We had a lovely conversation talking of this and that. In the end, we both agreed Dogtown needs a strong leader. That leader will be Bennett. The people here heed his words, as will you, Yago. Oh, until when? Until you leave town and he's free to stab me in the back? I want names, contacts, connections, your informants in the NCPD, everyone on your payroll. Ridiculous. You will prove your loyalty to me. It's a fair price. You will pay it. Hansen would say, only the weak make concessions. Keep the Colonel's name out of your mouth. Just snip at each other like two crazy chihuahuas. Is this what your Colonel would want? Were he still alive, his choice would be swift. Yago to keep his place in rank, the right hand to Lieutenant Colonel Bennett as leader. Am I wrong? Alongside your Colonel in this very coffin, you will bury the hatchet. This is Dogtown's only path forward. Hmm. That could work. We have a deal. Hope I won't regret it. Havana has eyes everywhere. Behave, both of you. All of you. Or I'll be back. Dog eat dog world, I guess. What's that make dog town? A warning to you, Silverhand. One you will heed. Who's orders to follow? You're welcome here anytime, Aguilar. Curtain call. Take a bow, V. Had our fun, but it's time we sent Aguilar off with a heartfelt adios. The word is Dogtown has a new alpha. Your Bennett's an apex predator. Gonna make a fine new Hanson. With a sensible partner at his side, he stands to achieve more than Hansen ever could. Marvelous work, V. Worth every any and more. That'll be all for now. I'll be in touch. V, if you've ever thought of starting a family, I would advise you to think twice. See, my client Michael Maldonado did not, and had a son that seems to cause him oh so much woe indeed. The matter's a rather delicate one. Michael wants to talk it over in person with you, and you alone. I favor clients with fewer question marks over their heads, but Maldonado offered extra. Thus, an exception was made. I'd like you to see him, see what this is about. Details attached. Michael Maldonado? I'm V. Han said you needed a, uh... Oh, hand with something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless are we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an example. That's where you come in. 
Why would she have it in for him? There's got to be a reason. She's the DA. If she wants a reason, she'll find one. Zeminski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. Tell me more about Eric. Mention he sells two-wheelers. Fixes them. Little go-getter owns a repair shop in Haywood now. Yeah. Moved out of Dogtown with his mother years ago. Hardly seen the kids since. Sure your son's who he says he is? Eric? He's too innocent for this town. That's why they're fixing to take him down. You testified against your own son. What kind of father does that? It ain't like you think, okay? I... I, I really didn't want to. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Just go talk to her, you know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. To get eaten alive in prison. Not if I've got anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. <sighs> That's a relief. No hands would toss me, some bush leaguer. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for our heart to heart. Gone. A lot of hustle around. Got big guests in from the city? Mm-hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Looking for a customer of yours. D.A. Georgina Zimbinski. Know her? Can't say I do. But if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though. And him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay. Thanks. Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Jack, right? Heard you're cozy with them gilded folk upstairs. Need a word with a certain dame. Oh, have you now? Well then, ask away. Georgina Zembinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that. Oh, slow down. Times it is an older jazz. Do you what I'm saying? There. Don't make me regret it. Hey, no risk, no reward. Right? Hey, baby. I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's smoothing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Zimbinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. What happened? <laughs> Hell does it look like? Shitbags threw me out of VIP. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. They're gonna throw me out? Me? Why'd they kick you out? Well, um, some loser wouldn't stop bothering me, so I... Bashed his head against the bar a little too hard. Said I was sorry, and I was. Doesn't give security the right to ride me so hard. Can't you... I don't know... Straighten it out somehow? Oh, I'll straighten it out all right. Next time I see the manager, I'll have those fuckers fired. 
Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology at least. You some kind of shrink now? Work for me is all I'm saying. Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Cause I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink! <laughs>